hello everyone in today's demo I will show you how do you up I mean upload a file inside an update panel okay if you search for uploading a file inside an update panel on the internet you find most of the times the people will say no it's not possible but sometimes like you know there are things that are possible but I mean the I mean you know there needs to be a workaround I mean some compensation is required like you need to compensate on certain conditions so let's start with basic how do you upload a file I'm a normal file okay so I got a normal ASPX page I'm going to set as a start page and we'll uh, check what is inside this page okay one second hang on so as you can see this is my markup and I'll switch to design mode and as you can see it's a very simple page I got this header I got file upload control which has a name upload file I got a upload button which has a name btn upload and I got a success error message for which I need a label so if I try to run this thing before I run this thing I'll show you the code what exactly I'm doing on upload In upload I'm simply checking if the file exists then I'll simply one second if the file exists then I will simply upload that file to my image directory which is right here as you can see right now it got nothing inside okay so if I try to upload this file then it will upload it in a simpler way right and I got response and I got a little bit error, error for the feedback so let's try to run and as you can see this is my page normal.dhpx page and if I try to upload a file and then if uh, I upload a jpg file and let's see what happens I get a success and if I go back and check my directory system which is lying here then I can see the image yes as you can see we got a successful upload right yes this is the image okay <coughs> So this was a simple upload but uh, sometimes there are situations you know where you need to upload a file uh, from an update panel <coughs> I'll give an example uh, recently I was working on a project where I had a master page and the, co the whole content of the master page was wrapped by an update panel so like if I create any page like you know and if I work around with that page like suppose I'm inserting deleting some data so there won't be I mean you know notion of an update I mean a pushback I mean there would be a pushback pushback but user won't be able to feel like there's a pushback or something right so I'll show you my master page how does it look like <coughs> first I'll take you to the design mode okay design is very simple as you can see I created a table inside I had a header then I got menu then I got script manager and I got a, a content placeholder which is wrapped which is wrapped by an update panel and in the end I got the footer okay then let's switch to the markup as we talked earlier this is my TR which holds the header and then I got some menu if you are interested you can set up your menu for yourself and then I got the script manager then I got the script manager then I got the update panel in, then I got content template inside the update panel I got my content placeholder as you can see right so now if I add any page so what will happen it will automatically have I mean whatever content uh, I'm adding for any reason like for insertion or deletion it will have an update panel by default so I don't need to worry about anything right so <coughs> now so the situation was like I was doing some uh, activity in which I need to upload the file and there was a master page I had so as we know like when you're working with the update panel inside a master page I'm sorry inside an update panel it will never work because to upload a file it requires a pushback right so <coughs> I'll give you uh, the failure demo first like what happens if if you know if you try to upload a file inside an update panel so I got a failure page okay so as you can see this is my failure page let me get the design first so as you can see uh, as as we see earlier this is my master demo menu script manager and this is my content part inside a content part I'm doing the same thing which I did for normal page 
which is nothing but just a label and file upload control and upload button and a feedback okay so if I click this button I can see like I'm doing the same thing which I did for normal page I'm just checking if the file is there then simply upload the file to image directory right so we'll try to run this thing okay and as you can see my failure page is in action so now if I try to upload a file if I try to upload the same image I'm sorry yes so as you can see I have a problem because whenever you try to upload a file inside an update file this condition will always fail the upload file dot has file will always fail so it will directly go to the else part and it will show you that we have a problem so in order to work around with this thing we need to do I mean certain customization on our master page right as we know that this is a master page right we have the script manager we got the update panel as well okay so we need to do certain settings for the master page so I need to go into the code behind okay in code behind as you can see I have created my custom method on uh, I mean just a method which accepts the uh, parameter as a control which is okay then I name my script manager as script one then there is a method called as register uh, pushback control now when you register uh, I mean generally you know when you work in update panel uh, there are times you know you can register asynchronous uh, pushback control or pushback control but this is the update panel right and we need to make this th this thing happen to go right right so we need to have a pushback if unless until we don't have a pushback we are not able to upload a file right so I need to register this pushback control so what would be that control so the control would be uh, upload button okay so now I'll show you the running version right so I've created this method so this is one customization number one then we'll go to default page which is here this is my default page okay it has the same design and everything same as a failure page nothing changed but there's only one change which is the page load part page load section as you can see what I'm doing is I'm calling this dot master and I'm trying to call this method which is already available on my master page right and I'm passing a control which is button upload which I'm having okay so once you register this control it will I mean the update panel will allow you to have a pushback and there's one more thing in order to work with this thing just go to markup and check this line in order to access the master page method directly you need to add this thing otherwise uh, you need to go into the you know code behind then you need to say the master dot find control and once you find the master then you call this method and then it's going to work right maybe I actually haven't tried that but I mean in general case uh, if you need to access a master method then you need to add this virtual path right the master type now let's run this thing and see how it works now this is I'm sorry this is a failure page right one second uh, default page set as a start page and let's run again so I got my default page everything looks same as previously and now if I try to upload I mean I mean if you see I will get a success I mean uh, I mean you haven't noticed but there was a pushback right because I have registered my pushback with the script manager so once I get the pushback the file gets uploaded so let's check my directory system okay okay and as you can see I have an image right I have an image perfect Thank you for watching.